Extraordinary times calls for extraordinary measures. That's why at University Subaru, we've assembled the finest vehicles for the largest pre-owned sale we've ever had. This place is bursting with pre-owned values that not only make financial sense, they make good safety sense too. We've reduced pricing on everything we have, including the largest new and pre-owned Subaru inventory in Missouri. When this special purchase is gone, the sale will end. Please join us while the selection is at its peak. University Subaru, the wise pre-owned choice. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Wednesday, March the uh, 6th. Two guests today. We'll start first of all with Andrea Shelton, City of Columbia, recycling information for us. You've got a, a big workshop is starting uh, next week, right? Tuesday, March 19th. Tuesday, March 19th. And what is this workshop? Our first compost class of the season. It's our compost workshop. Yeah. We have probably about one of them per month between March and November. But this is our first compost class, so I'm trying to get some people to get enrolled. And it's just a fantastic class. Oh, yeah. 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 Because it's so important to compost. Number one, it keeps items out of the landfill. Correct. Number two, when you compost, you are making this wonderful organic Rich. mixture. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you can't buy anything yeah, that good really to put in your garden. You really can't. Yeah. And, and it, plus, you feel good about uh, the environment. The environment, mm -hmm. exactly. It takes a level of commitment from the composter to be able to do this, but in our class you'll learn all these different composting methods. Um, the gr greatest part about the class is also you get a free compost bin for attending. Oh. Yeah. And oh. It's a, the, the big black, is it the black bin? It's a smaller um, black bin. The large black bin, uh, that's valued at $70, and so I can sell that to the attendees for $20. So I can sell I the, think that's what I, I bought that years and uh -huh. years ago, the, the black one. Uh -huh. it, it was $20. And it, yeah. it, it, you kind of make feel like you're making stew, you yeah. know, when you put this <laughs> stuff in there. Yeah. And you go put it in there. Yeah. And then you add a little bit of water. Yeah, and, and it's, I mean, you're not throwing away your food waste, right. you know, any kind of cellulose waste. Leaves, you know, uh, spring is upon us, so you have grass clippings, leaves, any other cellulose material. Then you have your food waste, with the exception of dairy and meats and bones that you can put in there. So you're not dumping your grass clippings in the drain, you know, in the in the gutter. Like, you, oh, we don't, oh, people do that all the time, and that's no, a no-no. No. Do they? Yes. But it, oh. And it's a no-no. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a big no-no. People put their leaves down the gutter. It, that's a no-no. You know, that our sewage system is not made for that. Right, right. So a great place to do that is to compost it or even to take it to our um, mulch site, one of our mulch sites around town. Yeah. But composting, great idea, great way to get rid of your food waste at home and great way to get rid of, rid of those items in your garden you yeah, know, when are you're you weeding. Gonna, are you going to uh, teach people about the worm composting too? We do a little bit of teaching about the worm <laughs> composting, but you know we still have our worm bins available for adoption. Um, oh, the I, worms are available for yeah, adoption. Yeah, I just prepped one because I have an elementary school that's coming to adopt them next week. And, and how, when you adopt the worms, <laughs> you get their little house too? It is a little house. I should have brought it in so you could see it. It is a little green. It looks like a little house. It's green. It has this apple on the top of it where the air goes in there so they can breathe. How many, and how many worms do they get? Um, well, it's a pound. Well, half a pound. I'm sorry. It's okay. half a pound. So, so when they adopt these worms, are they theirs or are they only foster parents for the worms for a short time? They're foster parents <laughs> for the worms for a short time, but these worms are multiplying the whole entire time they're with the classroom so um, people can harvest the worms if they like. They can take some Okay, they worms. can reach in and get a handful of them and yeah, give if them you're their a, own. If you're a composter, yeah, you can. Okay. Do. All right. Yeah. Joe, the composting class starts, is it next week? It's Tuesday, March 19th at 6 p.m. You can go to GoColumbiaMo.com to register or give me a call at 874-6271. Okay. And then also we have classes all season long, spring, summer, and fall, and you can register for those yeah. classes also. And this really, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's worthwhile. It is. It's, it's, it's good for you, for your home, for your yard, and for all of us. Great. Okay, yeah. GoColumbiaMo.com. Yes. Or at, call me. Or, and what's your number? 874-6271. You're going to have a uh, five by... Seven I'm not, you know, people are not interested in those anymore. <laughs> in your I'm really falling off. Eight by ten glossies. I think it's All the right. weight gain, maybe. <laughs> Andrea Shelton, City of Columbia. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much. Thank Come you. back again, okay? okay.
Now we turn to Heather Harlan with the Phoenix program. Hi. Good to have you here, Heather. Are you going to go to her composting yeah. class? Yeah, yeah. I want to get that compost bin. And maybe Absolutely. you can adopt uh, yeah, yeah. the, the worms. worms. Sure. sure. Okay, so what do we want to get across about uh, the Phoenix program? We want to talk today just a couple minutes on the first steps in getting help. And I think what's your viewers and listeners important for them to know. Um, I'm going to give them a couple images, clocks and horses. Okay. So that does have something to do with substance abuse treatment, which is what Phoenix programs does. First idea is clocks that time is wasting. Earlier interventions yield better results. We know that whether it's tooth decay or stroke or heart attack. The same is true when there are addictions or substance abuse issues. The earlier we intervene, the better the outcomes are going to be. So we mm -hmm. know that. You have to admit, though, that you have a problem. That right? takes us to the horses part of it. Okay. <laughs> so my, my coworker, Bobby Reichert, always says, well, you know, people are right. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink but you can do a lot to make the horse thirsty. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. Our staff at Phoenix Programs are the personal change professionals. But for a person to come in, don't they have to admit to themselves that they got There's a problem? There's a lot and we can do with family members who would call us to strategize. People always feel ambivalence towards their drug of choice. I love it, I hate it. It makes you feel alive, it's killing me. So to help them find the other side of that ambivalence and to work some ways, we can strategize with family members. The so you can business. talk to the family member yes. mm -hmm. to help get a person in. Yes, yes. Not necessarily, you, you start with the family, not the person. That's right, we can do that. And the first step, this is very easy, write it down, listeners and viewers, call us. Just call us, 573 Eight seven five eight 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 zero and call us because everyone, for you or your family member, can have a free consultation about so, health. What does a family member look for if they feel that they're? That's a good question because on our web page, there's under the resource tab on www.phoenixprogramsinc.org, there's a resource tab that says, "Do I have a problem?" And it's a quiz. And you could take that on behalf of yourself or a family member that you wonder if they might have a problem. It's, 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 it is how much people use, but it's also what happens when they use in terms of their relationships or being able to work or carry out responsibilities. So taking, going to the huh? website and if, what you click on, do I have a problem? Yes, under re the resources tab on our homepage. That's okay. correct. So someone listening to us right now may think that perhaps they got a problem, but they're not ready to deal with it. You can go to that web page and, mm -hmm. and check then, it out for right, yourself. Right. Or perhaps someone that you love you may think is having a problem. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, and then they can always, we've, we've removed the barriers, made it as easy as possible. Call us. You can find a lot more information on, on Facebook, get to know us better. And then also, again, on our website, there's tons okay. of information along with the quiz. Watches right. and horses. Clocks and horses, yeah. Thank you, Thank Heather you. Harlan. It's always good to be always here. a pleasure to have Thanks, you Paul. on here. Some good information for us. We're uh, just about out of time for today. Tomorrow, we are going to hopefully pass along information on how we can save money. Consumer Quiz with Mel Zelenek. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Zach Lawhorn, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if there's something that you would like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me an email, pepperpmissouri.edu. Okay? And if you'd like to watch this, kbia.org. Bye-bye.